and welcome to this SUP Border review. So in this video, we are reviewing the Thurzo Max Multipurpose SUP. Now, Thurzo say this is the SUV of SUPs, so I'm really keen to test it out and see how it goes. We've got some bird life around at the moment. You can probably hear those in the background. We're heading just down to the water's edge. We're gonna be testing this board in person on the water. So this is gonna be a review that really just goes through the stages of all the setting up of the board how it feels on the water. We're gonna be giving you our thoughts and impressions as well. Of course, going through all the fittings of the board um, and, and just really what it's gonna be like out there today. As always, we're gonna give you the pros, cons, value for money at the end. And we are going to sum it up with who this board is going to suit. Now, I've got my cool bag. I've got some fishing gear in here. We are going to have a good day on the water. It is a beautiful sunny day here. And we really hope that you enjoy this review of the Thurzo Max Multipurpose SUP. Let's go. So before we get this board on the water, let's take a look at exactly what we are dealing with today. The Thurzo Max Multipurpose SUP is 11 feet 6 inches long, 34 inches wide, 6 inches thick, and comes in at 340 liters in volume. The total weight of just the board is 14 kilograms or 31 pounds. The board has a load capacity up to 300 pounds, which is about 136 kilograms. But I believe you probably could take more on this board if you were thinking of doing those touring or even a day fishing out on the water. And this is an all round flat water board that can be taken through multiple different disciplines. And this board from Thurzo retails at 949 US dollars, 849 British pounds, or 949 euros. The construction of this board is a woven drop stitch. It has carbon enhanced rails. It has a double layer with reinforced seams as well. So a really well constructed board from Thurzo Surf. So to begin with, I just want to talk about the bag and how it feels when we are carrying it down to the water's edge. Now, I must say, because it is a big board, you know, 11, 6, 34 inches wide, 6 inches thick, 340 liters volume, it is quite heavy on your back. So you've got the pump, paddle, fins, leash, and the board in the bag. So it is going to weigh a little bit more, and I'm going to pop that weight on the video now. We're going to go back and I'm going to weigh it afterwards. But the bag is actually quite comfortable. Now, it's got some good padding on the shoulders. It's got some great padding on the back as well. And it's also got this waist buckle here, which can take the weight off your back as well. It kind of sits on your hips. And one of the best things about this bag is that even with the weight, it's got some wheels. So you can use the wheels if you are, you've got some nice terrain, unfortunately. We've got some shaly rocks here today. So I'm not gonna be using the wheels, but it is really nice to have those just because of that weight. The bag has a front pocket as well. And you've got some great heavy duty zips on the bag as well. So it's really, really durable. Another great thing about the bag is that it does have handles either side and on the top, which is really nice to have when you do have quite a big bag. That way, no matter which way the bag is lying down, you're able to pick it up. And also there is a name tag holder as well, which is fantastic if you are traveling overseas with this board. Okay, I'm really excited to see what's in this bag. So let's get everything out and do the inflation process of the Thurzo Max Multipurpose. So looking at the inflation process on this board, really, really easy rolling the board out. We have the pump rolled up in the board. So you're really able to get a lot more in that bag as well. But really easy, pumping up only took a few minutes at most, maybe about six minutes. So the pump to start with is a triple action pump. So it has that double chamber with the up and down inflate. So when you do lift up the handles and push down on it, it is inflating the board. However, you can see there are those two little toggles that are going to create the single action pump or the double action pump. So with the low pressure, mid pressure and high pressure, you can change those valves to really suit your pumping tempo. I really like the addition of that, that big pump to really get a lot of air into this board. There have been a few other boards we've reviewed that only have that single chamber pump and you really do notice that it takes that little bit longer. So 
well done Thurzo for adding that triple action pump. The board inflates to between 12 and 15 psi, you can get it up to 20 psi at maximum. The paddle we have is a three piece carbon hybrid paddle, so it's a carbon shaft with a nylon and carbon blade. Now that nylon carbon blade is really durable, it's going to be really good against those knocks and scrapes when you are paddling with the family or if you are paddling in that shallower water. The paddle is also designed so you can buy a kayak conversion accessory so you can turn that paddle into a kayak paddle if you wanted to use this board on those fishing adventures or with the family as well. The hollow handle keeps the weight down and I think it does look pretty cool. The leash is a 10 foot coiled leash, it looks really nice, I really like the blue, it really suits the style and the colouring of the board. Looks like quite a well built leash, the velcro is nice and grippy. And then also touching on the fins we have on the board, so we have that 2 plus 1 set up. Now those two side fins are a click in system and you can use a tool to tighten it up if you need, but all it needs to do is to slot in and then slide back and that means that fin is secure on the sides. Those side fins are plastic which means they are quite bendy, but it's really good to have those for stability when you are moving around on the board. The single center fin is a hard plastic which is really nice when you are tracking that straight line. It's a screw-in system, so it's really nice and easy to, to put this board in. Remember, it does have that plate, so you need to get that plate in the right spot for you to screw it in. Now we have the board inflated. I am really excited to see all of the fittings and the accessory points on this board. It's really incredible. There pretty much is everything to suit your needs. Let's take a look in further detail at what we can find on this Thurzo Max Multipurpose Sup. So starting on the deck of the board, we have this full EVA deck pad. Now that goes from all the way from the nose right back to the tail, which means you can get the kids, you can get the dog on here. You can walk up and down this board to really get your gear as well because there are tons of places to store, which we'll talk about in a second. But the color coordination on the deck pad looks really, really nice as well. I really like that they've color coordinated the areas that you are able to stand, that you can move back, that you can store gear. Taking a look up at the nose of the board, we have a screw insert right at the top, which is also a GoPro mount. So you can put your GoPro up the front or you can screw an accessory on there, such as a drinks bottle holder or a GPS or anything at the front. The handle just behind that as well is really great for when you are portaging. So if you do need to get into some shallower water or you just need to pull your board up and out of the water, it does have that handle at the front, which I think is a great thing the bungee area at the front is really nice and large. You've got six tying points there and you are able to store a bit of gear under there which we'll show you in a second. Now just back from that we have two other accessory mounts so you are able to screw on things there such as a fishing rod holder which would be ideal for this board. And then again just back from that we have even more carry handles so two handles on the deck from either side. As we work our way back, we see we have those D-rings on the side. Now they are for a kayak seat that you can put on this as an accessory. Remember that paddle also converts into that kayak paddle, so it's really going to help out when you are kayaking on this board. Speaking about the handle in the middle, it is quite a nice handle. It's quite a high handle, quite a big handle, so you can get your hand in there. And it is fairly comfortable, so you are able to carry it a fair distance. Right next to the handle though is one of the Probably best features of this board, I think, for all of the fishermen or fisherwomen out there. It is a ruler that you can measure a fish that you catch, or maybe you just want to measure your foot size when you're on the board if you don't catch any fish. On the sides, we have a paddle holder, so you are able to Velcro your paddle onto the board, which means you do have a free hand if you are carrying this board a fair distance, which means that you can carry gear such as a cool box. Again, moving back from that, we have more grab handles on the deck of the board, two extra up on the deck there. And then back from that, more accessory mounts, and it's just endless with these accessory mounts. And then of course, we have another small bungee storage area at the tail of the board as well. So really, there's a lot going on with this board. And then before we wrap it up, right at the end there, there is the D-ring for the leash, and also another grab handle for when you are pulling your board out of the water. It's really such a great thing that you can have these handles on the board when you are moving the board around. All right, now we've spoken about the board and all the accessories. Let's get this thing on the water to see how it performs.
been out on the Thurzo for a while now and tell you what, it's a beautiful day for a paddle. Now this board, I'm quite liking it. It's really, really great. It's got so much storage. I've got a lot of gear on here, especially camera gear because I'm filming all of this. But I've even got the cool box on here. I've got the bag, I've got the pump, I've got my shoes, I've got tripods, I've got dry bags. There is a ton of storage space on this board and that's what I really like about, about the Thurzo Max Multi is this, you can really use this board for a fantastic adventure. Now setting off from the shoreline, first thing I noticed was just the stability and that is really a given that with that 34 inches of width, I'm moving around on the board, I'm getting down, I'm getting my gear, I'm moving back, I'm having a look at the dry bag which is behind me at the back there. So I'm really finding it very stable to move around on and it's not like I'm almost about to fall in, which is a really nice feeling when you do have a lot of gear. But in saying that, the conditions, they are very, very nice today. So in that little bit more choppier water, I'd expect it to have a little bit less stability but still, you've got that really wide platform, flat deck, really comfortable deck pad as well, quite grippy, so you're definitely getting a lot of stability from this board. The rocker on this board, it is quite a bit of nose rocker in it. You can see when we are paddling that it does extend up a little bit, so really can paddle this board in a little bit of choppier water, which means that nose lift is gonna get over those bumps, which makes it a quite a nice ride. It's a fairly flat rocker with a touch of tail kick in it, but again, this is quite flat through the tail for that stability. Taking a look at the shape of the board, we have quite a wide outline. Remember this board is 34 inches wide. We've got quite a wide tail area, which is great for when you are storing gear and it's really good for stability as well. So when you are up and standing, it is gonna give you that extra balance and extra stability, especially when you're moving around if you are fishing or if you've got a dog on the board or a kid on the board as well. Looking up at the nose, it does pull in a little bit toward right at the tip of the nose, but we still got that wider outline back at that bungee area. Now in saying all of those things, it does sacrifice on the glide. So still being 11.6 long, you expect it to have some glide and it does. It really paddles nicely through the water. But that width and also with all of the gear that we are carrying, it doesn't really glide as fast. So really if you are looking for something that's more of a faster touring board that's really suited to adventures. I'd look for something a little bit narrower, uh, possibly something with maybe just a single fin as well, because those three fins, although they are helping with that stability, they do tend to slow down the board as well with the glide. So more fins, more drag, less fins, less drag. So it'd be nice to see if there was maybe a bigger center fin that we could have, maybe a little bit more tracking, but it's really going to sacrifice on that stability as well, especially in those bumpier waters as they act as that stabilizer. So overall, I think it's a pretty good board and really I just think it's pretty much as it should be for its glide. Moving on to speak about the tracking, so paddling in a straight line. Now the board does it very well, and I think that's really down to the fins underneath. So those three fins really gonna help it move in a straight ahead direction. And also just that width and also the length is just keeping that rail line in the water, that quite parallel rail from the side here, just keeping it moving in a straight line, which is really nice when you are paddling. You don't have to think too much, you don't have to change the paddle side too much. You are just really cruising down the waterways, taking it all in. Also, because I do have a lot of gear on the board, it is a lot heavier, which means it is gonna take a little bit longer to turn the board. So in saying that with the, with the tracking, it really does affect it, I believe, with a little bit less weight, you might find a bit less swing weight, which means you are going to maneuver the board a little bit faster as there's nothing really holding you down or weighing the board down. But with that weight on the front there, I do feel like it does help with that tracking in a straight line. Now, moving into a specialty discipline such as fishing, well, it just comes with so many different fittings. It comes with a kayak seat, so you can even add that to your board if you want to go fishing with that. But like I said, we've got the cool box on here. You can put your tackle box, 
we've got the, the line, fishing line that we've thrown out. So we know it can be done. And this board, it's that really stable platform for those fishermen. And it's also got that ruler in the middle of the board too. So if you do catch fish and you don't know if it's the right size for you to keep and eat, then you can always check it on the board, which I think is a really fantastic addition. Now, although I've done quite a lot of fishing in the past, I'm definitely not the keenest fisherman in the SUP water team. That award goes to Ruben. So he touched on the fins and that having those two side fins could really work well for shallow water fishing or sight fishing inshore. So you could take out that center single fin and you could just have two smaller side fins that would enable you to go into some shallower water and still have that stability and some tracking as well. And adding to that, paddling us up, it's quite silent in the water, so you are definitely going to be sneaking up on the fish, and that way you might even be able to catch a few more. Ruben also said that the paddle holder on the side could also act as a rod holder, so you could take quite a lot of fishing gear and quite a few different options for your setup. So stepping off the water for a minute and looking at the deflection test that we did afterwards at Supwater HQ. Now a deflection test, it tests for the stiffness of the board or how much it bends when we are paddling. So we get the board and we place a 1.5 meter gap underneath the board and then we get a 75 kilogram weight to place on top of the board. Obviously the less it bends, the more performance and the more rigidity it's going to have. And the more it bends, the more we're going to be pushing water, the less performance and really the less build quality it's going to have. So the max multi-purpose up from Thurzo Surf, we inflated this board to 15 PSI, which is the recommended, and it can go up to 20 PSI. But at 15 PSI, this board deflected at 10 millimeters. Now to put that into perspective, we have boards that come into SUP border that range from 10 millimeters to 26 millimeters in their deflection. 10 being the best, and this board is by far one of the best in the test you're getting a lot of performance out of this board and it really speaks volumes of how this board is going to react in the water to you. Of course, if you are that heavier paddle up, this is such a fantastic board with its stiffness, with that deflection of only 10 millimeters. You can put a lot of gear on here, you can get a heavier rider on here and it's still going to hold its shape. To give you a little bit more insight into the brand Thurzo Surf, now they are a China based brand. They do have a lot of designers and testers for all of their products. So when we see them come to SUP border, we actually really notice all of the intricate details that they do put into their boards, like all the accessories that you get with the board, uh, all of the fittings on the board as well. And just the build quality is quite good from Thurzo. Now their mission is to connect you with nature, to explore beyond. That's the firing range in the background, if you can hear that. <laughs> so their mission, connect you with nature, explore beyond, and to really give you a different perspective on life and to really get you exploring places that maybe you've never explored before on a paddleboard. Now, in a little bit of a contradictory way to that, the board did come wrapped in plastic. So it would be really nice to see Thurzo align with their mission, with that environmental credibility to change up their packaging because a lot of other brands have changed their packaging to a more sustainable future. I know it's really difficult. We all know it's really difficult to change a whole factory, but it would be really nice to see that. And I think they just have a little bit more credibility behind the brand if they could do that to align with their mission. One interesting point to note is when we do roll up the board, you need to make sure you roll the pump up inside the board so it really fits. And you can flip up the feet on the pump and also you can unscrew the handle on the pump as well. So it fits in really nice and snug when you do roll up in the board. What a great day on the water it was. So to wrap up this video, let's go through the pros, cons, value for money, and of course, 
who this board is going to suit. So starting off with the pros of this board, well, I just think it's so great that you can store so much on this board. It is really great for carrying capacity, be it overnight touring, adventure paddling, fishing, putting your kids on there, dogs. It's got that wide outline as well. So you're not only getting space for gear to go on, but you're also getting a lot of stability from the board as well. Moving on from that, I really do think that the ease of use, all of the fittings on the board, with those fittings, you can really tailor the board to how it's going to suit your preferences, be it from you know, having the kids, storing gear, fishing. You can put uh, those rod holders on the board. You can also put a kayak seat. You can do a lot with this board. And of course, lastly with the pros, just the accessories that you get with the product. So you get a fantastic carbon paddle. It's got that nylon blade, that nylon carbon blend blade, which really gives you that durability. Moving on to the cons of this board. Now, it's really hard to pick out some big cons because I really feel it does everything really well. But there are a couple of things I will highlight. Firstly, when you are carrying the board with the in that center handle, it does dip a little bit back toward the tail, so it is a touch off balance. Also with the board, I think with the bungees, the points, the attachment points could be out to the rail a little bit further. And what that would do, I think, would just give it that extra space to be able to fit a really big cool box under there, or even just to carry a bit more gear if you were traveling with other people. One other con I will mention is just the weight of the board, but of course, with all of those fittings and with all of the accessories you get in this backpack behind me, it is quite heavy. So the weight of the board, the weight of the bag, if you're not going too far, absolutely fine. But if you are thinking of taking this board traveling overseas it does have wheels which is a big big plus of course but just keep in mind that if you are lugging this anywhere it does get quite heavy so touching on value for money before wrapping this review up there are lots of options with this board so i really do think you are getting a lot of value for your money now there are some small details in the finishes of the board that should be mentioned and shown but for the price and the usage of this board, it's definitely a great board at a reasonable price point. So we've touched on it before, but who is this board going to suit? Well, there is a range of people that this board is really great for. So if you are a beginner paddler weighing over that 100 kilogram mark, so you're quite a heavier rider, looking for that stability, looking for a bit more glide as well, this board really is one that you should be looking at because it has the stability and even though it is wide and it is thick that you do need that volume to to be able to hold that weight but it is going to give you that bit of glide as well because it is that 11 foot 6 inches in length also if you are thinking of adventure paddling so overnight camping touring uh, it really does speak so much with on this board because it has so many tie down points it really is going to carry all of that gear it's got a great load capacity as well so you are able to carry upwards of i would say you know somewhere between 150 kilograms or even a little bit more because that six inches thick uh 340 liters of volume it is going to take a lot of gear with you and then on the other front if you're a family and maybe you just want one paddleboard for you and the kids or even if you have pets maybe to put the dogs on cats if you want to take your cat out paddling uh, it really you can put a lot of people on this board along with those categories of who this is going to suit i really do think this falls into a special discipline category such as that fishing like we've mentioned throughout this video it really is a great board to set it up and head out there on a day's fishing adventure but if you are that lighter rider i would suggest maybe looking at something with a little bit less thickness in the board because it is quite hard to get back up on with that six inches of thickness. That could go back into the cons as well. But just if you are looking for that touring board and you are that lighter rider, it can be used. It might feel a little bit big, a little bit bulky, a little bit heavy to carry around as well. So that might be a point to note if you are a lighter rider looking for adventure paddling. I really had such a fun time on the water reviewing the Thurzo Max Multipurpose Sup. Hope you really enjoyed following me along in this review. Let me know how you like the style of this review as well because this is kind of a new style we are 
we are doing. It takes a lot of work with all the cameras setting up on the beach and all of that, but luckily we ran into Lucy who was paddling out there, so she was able to help with a few different camera angles, but really love to get your feedback on how this review goes down. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Sup Water review. Look forward to seeing you on another one really, really soon.